in this module and next several modules we look at the process of cell division we will look at the process and components machinery that allows cell to make a copy of itself as we know organisms all organisms have a limited lifespan so in order for life to continue cells will have to make more copies of themselves as we have already established cell is the basic unit of life cell division the process ensures the continuity of life from one cell we can make more than one cells or two cells unicellular organisms propagate by splitting into two cells we look at that process also multicellular organisms organisms that are made up of many cells they need cell division to replace old dead cells or senescent cells in order to keep their function their organs and tissues functional and viable in humans billions of cells die each day for example red blood cells our epithelial cells these cells have to be replaced they the replacement of the cell has to come from another cell in the process of cell division additionally a special type of cell division called meiosis we'll talk about this process this kind of cell division in more detail later on this ensures the organisms shuffle its genes allowing uh, different combinations and allowing natural selection to take place and selecting organisms with best combination of genes let's start this with the simplest organism let's look at the process of cell division in the simplest organism a bacteria a prokaryote we have already mentioned that these organisms don't have any membrane enclosed organelles which means they don't have a nucleus they have a nucleoid region which we talked about which contains dna dna in these organisms is attached to special positions in the membrane the cell membrane bacterial cells can divide as long as long they have favorable environmental conditions so as long as long you provide bacteria with food they will keep on dividing let's look at this process the membrane is part of the membrane special part of the membrane attaches to the bacterial dna that's where a special sequence of dna is this special sequence of dna is the origin sequence that's where the dna replication starts as we have already mentioned that genetic information is contained in this type of polymer the dna so when a bacteria has to divide conditions are favorable first of all the dna will start replicating it will start making a copy of itself at the ori point point of origin of replication and as the cell grows it stretches now we have initially we had only one ori now we have two oris as the cell elongates the ori two oris will also separate separate and segregate once the dna replication is complete a cell wall membrane will form and which will separate the two cells so initially we had one cell from one cell we have gone to two cells in this process we look at this process in multicellular organisms in the later module